What was I saying? Meow! Meow! Hi, I'm Kaylin. This is Biscuit, and this is Poppy Seed. And we used to live in a van. But on March 5th of 2022, my van crashed and rolled over. Everything in the van was destroyed. The van was destroyed. I thought that like my life was over. That was my home, but the van life community showed me how much they loved and supported me by starting some GoFundMes. I have decided to start this YouTube channel to document the next phase, the rebuilding of my life. Like, look at this. I bought a school bus. Ready to get started? Yep. Onward and upward, baby. <laughs> this week's goals in the bus are A, finishing the exterior uh, prep so that I can get the primer paint on, which means that I can then take the bus to get registered in Tennessee. And then to get the rest of these ceiling and upper side panels off so that I can start adding things to the bus instead of th taking things away from the bus. We are gonna be scraping some more glue and then we're gonna be sanding. All right, here we go. Pretty much all of the glue has come off of the outside of the bus. There is still some like residue, but I have gone through a whole bottle of Goo Gone and I'm over it. So we are moving on to sanding the bus, which is the last preparation step for painting. I've got my electric sander with some 100 grit on here. I've got a face mask because there's a lot of paint residue coming off of this. I'm using the electric sander for like big chunks of space, big panels. And then I'm coming in with like a little hand sander or just straight up sandpaper to get to a lot of the like details and curves that this guy cannot reach. There's also a lot of curves on that panel. So now I'm gonna go at it by hand. This is my little hand sander. And we need a new thing of sandpaper on it. <laughs> all right, now we've got the hood all sanded. The last step is to go over it with a microfiber towel to get rid of all the dust so I can see if I missed any spots. And that's kind of the process we're following on the whole bus. Here we go. Precious lady. Everybody always talks about how much this prep work on the buses sucks. And they were right. And I think a huge part of it is like psychological, right? That like you just want to add things to the bus and instead you have to spend so much time and energy removing things from the bus. It doesn't feel as productive. It doesn't feel like you're moving towards this thing. Oh, I have to scrape more glue. <laughs> I hate scraping glue. There's still glue on this bus, but I've spent so much goddamn time scraping glue that if it's there, it deserves to stay now. When I pulled that off, there were all of these wires behind it. Now I need to go find the other end of these wires um, and disconnect it from the electrical box up in the front. We have found one of the wires and they're all marked ST arm, stop arm. Um, it's gonna be a slow process to find all of them in here, but I know what I'm looking for. Okay, now that all these wires are capped, I'm just gonna shove them in here and seal this hole up. I am still gonna try to find the other end of these in the electrical box. I found two of them, but I'm still missing a few um, so that I can officially, officially disconnect it and these won't be live, but at least there's not like open live wires, so. There are 
a bunch of holes left by the stop sign that I took off. There's this big one and then six small ones. So we need to cover those and we are using Flex Seal to do that. Um, this stuff is really, really strong, or at least it claims to be. I've actually never used it, so. Why does this look tasty? Like I want to eat it. This is my mom, say hi. Hello. She's helping me with the paint job on the bus. It's been sanded, so we did one coat of just wiping off the dust and now we're going in with just some Dawn dish soap and water. We're just using a white Rust-Oleum as the primer, so this is not the final paint color. And then we've got this paint thinner to, you know, help everything go on smoothly and whatnot. Give it a stir, mama. Okay. This is an oil-based paint that is meant to prevent rust. So it's perfect for this primer. Let's go. You know, especially as a woman, I think learning to do things yourself is so freeing and so healing. You know, when I built Benny, I was coming out of graduate school. I had just finished a master's degree that was really, really demoralizing. It was a very like toxic environment that makes you kind of constantly feel like you're not good enough and you're not doing enough. And between that and COVID and working a job that didn't pay me enough and getting diagnosed with a physical chronic illness, learning to complete projects on my own and to work with my hands and to kind of produce something beautiful with my hands, with my body, was so healing in ways that I never, never even imagined it could be. And now, three days a week, I'm a college professor. And four days a week, I'm a tiny house builder. It's so freeing to know that like, I really do contain multitudes. Like I am capable of all of these things. Now I'm doing the second build and there's all this new stuff and none of it intimidates me anymore because even if it's something I've never done, even if it's something I have no idea how to do, I can, I can learn those skills. And I think that's something that's so cool about the day and age we live in. There's also this wealth of just endless information available to help you learn all of these skills. Whatever that project is, whatever that new thing is that you've been wanting to try, do it. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter why you think you can't do it. Do it. Okay, remember when I said I wasn't gonna tear up the floor? We are not gutting the floor. <laughs> My best friend Alex just bought a school bus. She pulled her rubber flooring up and found mold in her plywood. And that worries me. So I feel like I need to tear up the floor. Like nothing comes up with it. It's just the spot that I chiseled. What the hell? Come on! Ow! What the hell? Like, this is gonna be a nightmare. Shout out to my mutual Wendy on TikTok, who recommended that I get an air hammer, which is essentially like a power hammer and chisel. <sighs> there we go. There we go, we got it. I, I still feel like I'm missing something.
My lower back needs a break, so now we're gonna move up and work on these ceiling panels. Damn, it feels good to like see real progress. Protect your hearing, grab your gloves, cause there's a lot of splinters and metal ends and pieces. I don't know, a lot of weird shit in here today. process of removing the ceiling I had to just like cut quite a few wires so I went through and capped all of those today we're gonna continue working on the floor now that we are done with the fun stuff which is the metal um, you might be like Kaylin that's the fun stuff yes these floors fucking suck At the beginning of this video, I said that my goals for the week were to have the bus primed and gutted. And I have the whole bus primed and a little bit of the bus painted with its like final color. And I have the interior uh, two thirds, two thirds gutted. This is hard fucking work, man. Like and subscribe to see more of my DIY bus build. Hope to see you here next week. Onward and upward.